Wahlberg, bro. By the like, way, though, Mark Wahlberg was Mark Wahlberg at 20, but this kid's like 14. But no, no, the actor. The actor in the show, I don't know how old he is, but he's supposed to be 14. How Joey, old? he voices in Invincible. How old I is he, I forgot who he is, but oh. he's... You know how old he is? I don't know how old How old, old is the character? Is. How, how, old no, the how old is the actor, the actor? Well, the character's at least 20 years old. Wait, wait, wait. The actor Or the actor is at least 20 years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did I just say character? I did just say character. To me, he looks like he's at least 20 years old. No, it's bad. Like I said, it's poorly casted. It's like, yeah. Yeah. But, um. Like, they got like a younger, like, Mark Wahlberg. Fuck, who is that kid? Will you look that up? What? Um, the Invincible voice cast. And I guess look for that kid in there. That voice cast is so stacked that he'll be like on like the bottom of the list. I will say, out of all the shows, cartoon or live action, Invincible, I guess to me, like out of everything that's come out like this year, Invincible's number two. His name is next to Shogun. His name is me. Matt. His name is Matt in Invincible. Are you telling me that or that's his name in Invincible is Matt. I don't know who that invincible character is. Okay, yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, let's watch about it. I'd have to, dude. You should watch Invincible. It's good. What's it about? Invincible is based on a comic book written by Robert Kirkman, creator of The Walking Dead. Okay, so it's about this dude. His name's Mark. He's a teenager. His dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's not like a character character, but no, I remember like his small no. side character. No, I remember him. Yeah. Um, no. So Invincible, as honestly, most people by now probably know what Invincible is about. But for those of you who don't, Invincible is about this teenager and his dad is essentially Superman. Like, he has the same origin story. Like, he came down from another planet, and now he's saving the world. And this is a universe full of superheroes, like the Marvel or DC universe. And he's starting to get his powers, and he's getting coached by his dad. But it turns out his dad wasn't... He didn't just accidentally land on this planet like Superman. He was sent on like this long term mission to invade Earth. So his dad murders essentially like the Justice League of their planet, the Guardians of the Globe. And he like slowly figures out his dad is there to like conquer the planet. And it kind of just goes from there. That seems like a pretty cool premise. No, dude. In my opinion, Invincible is one of the best like American comic books out of like the last 25 years. Hmm. Yeah. Read the comic. You read some comics, Trey? Yeah, I read uh, all of Naruto and all of Black Clover. That's like manga. I feel manga. like comic There's books. There's still comics. They count. But it's like a full book, isn't it? No, it's the same no. thing. They're still, they're still comics. They come out weekly issues. And then American comics typically come so out. So when you see the books weeks. at like Barnes & Noble, that's just like a bunch of comics put together? Yeah. So when you see a volume of Naruto at Barnes & Noble, like that's chapters. like five or six issues. They call them chapters in Japan put together. All right. That makes yeah. sense, actually. Like per week in Japan for an anime, a chapter releases on the manga. Yeah. No, low-key, the last, like, two generations of comic book readers have been mostly manga readers, essentially. Like, Naruto yeah. outsells Batman, comics-wise, in 2024. Does well, who the American fuck is reading a Batman comic in 2024? Well, one... Reading, I mean... Naruto's been a while since they released. But you got all of fucking Japan reading that shit, bro. Well, like, one, Americans read the fuck out of manga. They don't read the fuck out of American comic books. I like reading um, indie stuff. I really like Image, which is a comic book publisher. That's actually what Invincible came out of, was Image comic books. But, um, well, no, though, their whole thing is like creator freedom. Like, if you write a comic for image, you retain full ownership. 
Walking, Walking Dead came out of it. Is this something well. you support? Oh. I do support that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. Because um, Marvel and DC sucks ass like more than ever right now. Yeah. And um, I think, one, I am like a true comic book reader, and that's rare these days. I literally. <laughs> You're a special gym. Uh, yeah. Dude, I literally know like zero people that love like legitimate comic books as well as I do. Because people don't read dick yeah, anymore, no, though. No, dude, no. Yeah. If you are out there and you're making comic books of any sort, even if it's like the wokest piece of bullshit, like, I fucking love you. Like, like keep making comic books. Like, don't let that die. Like, please keep making It's going to die, bro. What kid with the fucking iPad is going to read comic books on his iPad, bro? Dude, maybe some kid... You'd be surprised. Maybe some kid who watched seasons one or two in Jujutsu Kaisen and wants to see what happens next. They start reading manga. My nephew. And next thing you know, he's drawing... He's reading comics? The characters on every worksheet the one I told at his you, school. I told like, you his dad works for one of the... Uh, anime conventions that goes around the world mm-hmm. or around the US he is reading manga and he's like 7 or 8 years old yeah maybe kids can't read dude no they're still out no, there. No. I mean a lot of it is in, like a lot of it is based on your parents right so it's probably gonna be I mean it might die out but I think it might be a couple generations before it does like cause kids do should they are made to read do you think kids like elementary school kids read anime stuff for yeah. their like. If they know about I it, I think yes. kids read manga. Think you think you get AR points? Do you think there's AR points attached to any mangas yes. right now? Yes. Probably not AR points specifically. You, I would say maybe, well, bro. Yes, maybe. maybe not like because if it's in a library. Points, but like, think about the Magic Treehouse. The Magic Treehouse books. You we had so, y'all probably had the same shit. We had deer. It was a. Uh, reading time after lunch it would be like an hour no yeah that sounds familiar read no yeah you read i don't forget ours was called deer but i forget what it, it might have been deer at my every, school too no it meant drop, drop everything and read yes Dude, drop yeah. everything and read so we had that for an hour most of us like we had a group of us that would read one magic tree house book it would be one ar point so by the time it's like a, a baby book a the magic tree house a month or two months had passed we all hit our ar points because we just read one magic tree house every Deer time. Y'all suck but, ass, bro. What the fuck? Y'all reading one that? What grade is this? This is like third grade. Yeah, bro. Y'all should be cracking some Harry Potter by then. We read Magic Tree House no. in I was third not grade. Reading Harry Potter. I wasn't a fucking nerd. They if never read Harry did, Potter to us. You in class. did you read a Harry Potter book? That's what I fucking in third thought. grade, bro. You did not. Show. You bro, did not read a Harry. Potter I've read book the first grade. half of the first Harry Potter like oh six times. Oh my god! So you quit? So yeah, I quit like yeah, six yeah. times. He's I couldn't. Full yeah. of shit. So you could have been like, oh, like I'm too good to read Magic Treehouse. Would you read Harry Potter, motherfucker? You didn't <laughs> read Harry it. Potter. I couldn't do it, bro. It was too much pages. But I'm saying, so if the Magic <laughs> I got overwhelmed. That you could finish within an hour as a third grader was fucking one point. I could say anime could be like fucking. Half a point if you're reading like a little anime book. If we're being real, you want to know what I was reading? What? Retired. Captain Underpants. Bro. I knew. I literally knew. I was about. To I was spamming Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants, more Underpants points bro. Than the, Dude, uh, that's pretty much a comic book. Yeah, it's no, like a fucking comic book. Yep. It might as well be a comic Kinda book. Kind of remind me the of The biggest, Simpsons, dude. The biggest cheat code when it came to AR points is from like fourth grade to like seventh grade. I moved schools a lot. So I read like a group of books. Mainly was the whole Hunger Games. I read the first one. I only read it because my seventh grade, or no, I don't know if it was seventh. Hey, you read the shit in middle school. I think she got hype in middle school. Yeah, it was about middle school when this. I think an AR area. test. I didn't read a school. single fucking book in middle school. Maybe for bro. what? I don't know. How did they, I don't think they were making us in middle school. We had I never had dig one. Well, I was in a very like I was in the small schools. Like around Oklahoma, so they probably, I don't know. Uh, Maybe he's on some s- you country boy, small town shit, dude. I don't know. We were still doing the AR test. Like, our reading teacher was still about that. But anyways, from like fourth grade to like seventh grade, I moved schools a lot. So I like I had a certain set of books where I would just retake the test at each school. Mm, so I wouldn't have to read I any see. new books. But for a, That's kind of fire, Multiple actually. schools, though, in middle school, the Hunger Games series we like 14 or 15 points per. It's a lot of points. 20 points right. is like a pizza party, right? I would go transfer to the school. It would take me. I would 
do it. I wasn't retarded though. Like it I, was twenty points. <laughs> Here, yeah. I'm gonna get back to that. Right. But no, I'd read one and then I'd wait like a month to take my second test. Or not take. I don't read, but I'd take the first test when I got to the school, and I wouldn't take the next one. Well, like the, the points were per already. semester. Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't so carry over. Well, like past no, like there's Christmas no you break. couldn't float any yeah, like PTO just, over here. I didn't just pull up to the school and take like three Hunger Game tests. Like I would space it out. See, you have to. They bust you. By the time I had gotten to fourth grade, smart. I had read like every Harry Potter that had been released at the time. <laughs> Nerd. If that shows how old I am, that by the time I was in fourth grade, the Harry Potter series wasn't finished. But uh, a day too finished bit. or wasn't? Was it? Like when I was in fourth grade, like the seventh Harry Potter book hadn't come out yet. Damn, it like, makes you like thirty years old, dude. Are you like thirty-five? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but. A Harry Potter book. I remember I had changed schools after third grade. In fourth grade, I was in a new school, and they were doing the AR points. And I remember the fourth Harry Potter book was 24 fucking points. Nah. But the thing is, I actually read these books, and these AR tests were designed. That's a Goblet of Fire, right? Yes, it was the Goblet designed. of Fire. That's a sick, that's a sick movie. The, movie. That's the coolest one. They have, like, the games yeah. and shit. It was but no, designed opposite of the movie. Ba- no, yes. It was designed so it would fuck you up. If you would just watch the movie, the test was designed the hungry, to, the like, fuck you up. The same one. I remember one. It was like sneaky question. librarians it was trying a to trick you about where Katniss got the pin from the that she wore during the Hunger Games in the book or the movie. I don't remember which one. One of them she got it from the mayor's daughter, and one she got it from like an old lady in the market. Mm, I've actually heard about this. That was one of the AR test point like questions, and I remember that shit probably for the rest of my life. No, I was like, dude, what is this? Because I'd seen the book and or I'd seen the movie and read the book. No, I remember when I took the AR test, my teacher was like, Psh, like, kids have tried this before. Like, good luck, motherfucker. Pretty yeah, that's much. my teacher did. <laughs> yeah. And, you would know, take a crack at the goblet? Well, no, she literally <laughs> yeah. told dude, me. Dude, I got like, 100% I on the test. Like, bro, pizza party qualified did she right get? There. Did she get the results? And she was like, this is impossible. Well, no, I told you, you click through on the computer and it tells you right there. And I was like, like this is impossible. Like, Well, you're supposed to call over the teacher when you're done with your test to show her the results. And I was like, hey, bitch. Like, so you said to your fourth grade teacher? That's what I said to my fourth grade teacher. I said, hey, bitch, come here. And she said, yeah. Like, I was like, you see that? Yes, Nicholas. I was like, 24 AR points. Like, yeah, it's straight pizza. I was like, party. get that she pizza. Like, Twenty. Say, like, get that pizza ready. I'm Poor like, hey, AR that's points. a pizza and a two liter. Say, like, keep and it like, hot. I don't know. And I want yeah. Dr Pepper. Yeah, Dr Pepper. No, 